Hi, I'm Mark Spagnolo from thewoodwhisperer.com. As you probably already know, there are a lot of glues on the market today. Now fortunately, good old PVA glue usually does the trick. But there are going to be times when a specialized glue is going to make our lives a lot easier and give us much better results. And one of my favorite specialized glues is urea resin. Because of its long open time, I like to use it for complex glue ups. Now an added bonus is that unlike standard PVA glue, urea resin is gap filling and it'll help you lock down those joints that, well, they could be a little bit tighter, if you know what I mean. Now another property that I really like is the fact that it provides a very rigid glue bond. Now put all these things together and we have the perfect glue for veneering. But not all urea resin glues are created equal. Now there are two types that I keep on hand at all times. The first is Unibond 800. This is a two-part mixture of a liquid resin and a powdered catalyst. And this is my primary veneering glue. The other brand that I like to use is DAP Weldwood. It comes as a powder and needs to be mixed with water. But that's exactly why I don't use this stuff on veneer. The water gets absorbed into the veneer and could cause problems as the wood dries after the glue up. I've even heard from a few people who've used this stuff in a veneering project only to come back the next day to find that their joints opened up. So I say better safe than sorry and I stick with the water-free formulations. Now there is a safety issue here with these glues that you need to be aware of. They contain formaldehyde and that means that you do not want to breathe the dust from the catalyst or the dust from the sanding after the glue is dried. So please wear gloves, wear your eye protection and a respirator at all times when you're working with this glue. One of the great things about a two-part glue like this is the fact that you can change the ratio to suit your needs. You can use anywhere from a 3 to 1 ratio of resin to catalyst for a quicker cure to a 6 to 1 ratio for a slower cure. I'm going to use a 3 to 1 mixture here. And when scooping the powder, try to avoid disturbing it too much since we really don't want dust clouds of this stuff floating around the shop. Another neat thing about Unibond is that you can order the catalyst in different shades for lighter and darker woods. And if you can't get the exact color you want, you can always add a little aniline dye to the mixture for a custom color. Once the glue is evenly mixed, I pour a good amount on the substrate. An ink roller is perfect for spreading the glue into a nice even layer. Now I do the same thing for the veneer itself. And of course, you would also veneer the other side of the substrate. And one last thing you should know is that temperature plays a major role in this glue's ability to cure. Warmer is better, and never use it in temperatures less than 65 degrees. Now it's really not necessary for you to have a bottle of every glue available in your shop. But when you start getting into specialized areas like veneering and things like bent lamination, you might find that certain glues just fit your needs better than the stuff that you use on a day-to-day -day basis. And urea resin glue is definitely one that you should consider. Thanks for watching.